I'm not going to talk to you about social media and space. I do that online the whole day, so uh, no need to do that right now. I'm going to talk to you about something different. And I was hesitating on talking about what World Space Week is, uh, because I assume everybody knows what World Space Week is, but no. When I talk about World Space Week, many people still think I work for a space magazine, uh, or think that I organize this big, grandiose event every year uh, for space outreach and education. So I thought maybe it is worthwhile explaining to you what World Space Week really is. Um, I'm the operations director for World Space Week, and this is what World Space Week is. World Space Week is the largest public space event in the world to promote STEM um, uh, through the excitement that we all have about space. Well, Space Week was founded 15 years ago, 16 years ago now, by the United Nations. So we are, in a way, the outreach arm for the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs. Uh, we are the UN Declared Week, where we celebrate space worldwide. We are a very small, volunteer-driven organization, with a big board of directors with big names in, them, uh, in it, uh, just for PR purposes, a very small executive team, and lots and lots of volunteers who organize uh, a lot of events. This is 2014, where we had 1,600 events spread over 76 different countries. This is what the largest public space event in the world really looks like. And we've grown significantly. Since we were founded in 1999, um, we have grown very hard because there's a lot of need, I guess, in the education world for kids to be excited about something, and space happens to be a very good way to excite, especially children and students, about the awesomeness of science and space. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the things that happened during World Space Week, and this is one of the things that happened. Uh, this slide will be on for 20 seconds, so I'm not gonna explain, but we do really cool stuff during World Space Week. In 2014, as I said, we had 1,600 events, and every year we have a theme, so last year, the theme was about uh, satellite navigation, space guiding your way, and through that theme, we tried to inspire uh, event organizers to hold events, and uh, we have massive response to that. So um, I'm giving you a few examples of World Space Week events, where here we worked with Lockheed Martin on the Orion uh, launch uh, in December. We had a big campaign working with them uh, to bring people on board of Orion uh, which was launched in December. We work with Airbus. Airbus Defence and Space organised over 400 events, sending their personnel to uh, local schools to talk about the stuff that Airbus does and how we need scientists in the future. Uh, big organisations uh, like ESA uh, at STEC organised their open day during World Space Week, making it uh, a World Space Week event that draws almost 10,000 people uh, on a single day uh, to the research heart of, uh, of ESA. We have events uh, like here in France where um, people are inspired by space technology like the, the swimming pool that we see here. They organized a neutral buoyancy lab in a public swimming pool, uh, in this case in Bordeaux in France, uh, with a local diving club, using again space science to excite children about, uh, about diving in this case. Um, you may be surprised the biggest participation we get in the less developed countries, uh, like here in Germany, in the Netherlands, uh, where I'm from, there's plenty of events organized throughout the year, but in countries like Bangladesh and Saudi Arabia, India and Pakistan, there aren't many events. So they use uh, the, the concept of World Space Week uh, to bring people together and talk about space uh, in countries that may not even have uh, their own space program. Uh, even more striking examples are in areas in the world where the political stability is uh, less favorable, let's put it that way, like in Libya this year. Um, there's a, a group of astronomers in Libya and Iraq that organize space events while uh, rockets, not so friendly rockets, are flying right behind them. Um, but yet they go out into the desert to do stargazing parties and inspire children about a better future for them. So with this talk, I'd like to make sure that you all understand that World Space Week is bigger than what some people imagine it is and uh, invite you to uh, be involved, organize events during World Space Week um, and of course using the information that you can find here, follow us on social media, uh, follow us on our website. We have many ideas on how you can help us and help the United Nations spread the word about space and space science uh, and STEM education uh, for the future um, uh, generation. 
Uh, as we are a volunteer organization, uh, I have to put up this slide, all the organizations that are involved in World Space Week to make sure that we can actually organize these events and uh, have a website and do all this social media stuff. And uh, with that, I'd like to uh, invite you October 4th through 10th to uh, help me make World Space Week even bigger next year. Thank you very much.